She is known for her successful career as an actress, having appeared in numerous films and stage productions. She is recognized for her dedication to her craft, having studied theater and art at esteemed institutions. Her name is Ruth Hussey. In the quiet town of Providence, Rhode Island, on a crisp autumn day in 1911, a star was born. Her name was Ruth Hussey, later known as Ruth Carol O'Rourke. Life was not always easy for Ruth, as she faced the loss of her father to the devastating Spanish flu when she was just seven years old. But the young girl showed resilience and strength, growing up alongside her older brother Robert and younger sister Betty. Ruth's journey into the world of acting began after she completed her education in Providence's public schools. While she didn't find success in landing roles in plays at Pembroke College, her determination led her to pursue a degree in theater from the University of Michigan School of Drama. She honed her craft as an actress with a summer stock company in Michigan for two seasons, gaining valuable experience and laying the foundation for her future career. But Ruth's ambitions didn't stop there. She knew that success in the entertainment industry required more than just talent. With a thirst for knowledge and a desire for personal growth, she also attended Boston Business College, expanding her skill set and setting herself apart from her peers. Ruth Hussey was ready to take on the world and make her mark in the world of acting. Ruth, a young and aspiring actress, faced numerous rejections in her hometown of Providence. She worked as a radio fashion commentator and even wrote ad copy for a local clothing store. But her dreams of acting seemed distant until a friend encouraged her to audition at the Providence Playhouse. Unfortunately, the theater director turned her down, stating that roles were only given to actors from New York City. Determined to prove herself, Ruth made her way to the Big Apple. In New York City, Ruth took on various jobs to make ends meet, including working as a model. She also landed roles in touring stage companies, gaining valuable experience along the way. It was during one of these tours that her talent was noticed by MGM talent scout Billy Grady. Impressed, MGM signed her to a contract, marking the beginning of her film career in 1937. Ruth quickly established herself as a leading lady in MGM's B unit, often portraying sophisticated and worldly characters. Her breakthrough came in 1940 when she received an Academy Award nomination for her role as Elizabeth Embry in the acclaimed film The Philadelphia Story. Her talent and charm made her a favorite among audiences, and in 1941, she was voted the third most popular new star in Hollywood by exhibitors. Throughout her career, Ruth had the opportunity to work with some of the industry's biggest names. She shared the screen with Robert Taylor in Flight Command, Robert Young in Northwest Passage, and Alan Ladd in The Great Gatsby, among others. Her performances showcased her versatility and range as an actress. Not limiting herself to the silver screen, Ruth also made a mark on Broadway. In 1946, she starred in the Pulitzer Prize-winning play, State of the Union, captivating audiences with her talent. She continued to excel in the theater, earning praise for her role in Goodbye, My Fancy, in 1949. Even as television emerged as a popular medium, Ruth remained active in early television dramas. She even had the opportunity to fill in for Jean Arthur in the Lux Radio Theater presentation of Shane in 1955, sharing the stage with the film's original stars Alan Ladd and Van Heflin. Ruth's career spanned decades, and she left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her talent, warmth, and dedication to her craft endeared her to audiences and critics alike. Whether on stage, screen, or radio, Ruth Hussey's presence shone through, making her a beloved figure in Hollywood history. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.